Today is Tuesday, March the 29th at 6.49 uh, p.m. Charles, Missouri time. You see you got the chief of police, you got the uh, captain chief, uh, Bobby Hearns, you got the captain, uh, Anthony Mooney, you got the dog catcher. We over here on Iron Banks right off of uh, Main Street in Charles, Missouri. Uh, just made it kind of late. Somebody gave me the update uh, that uh, they shot and killed uh, a dog over here. I don't know if the dog was attacking or not, but we know they can't have any particular uh, training or they have a separate uh, standard as far as killing dogs. We had plenty of them that you've seen right at 702 Vine Street in front of the uh, unoccupied uh, police substation. They shot none of them. We seen one that was a husky and a whole uh, few other ones. They mauled uh, one of my neighbor dogs, snapped at one of the police officers, but yet they was uh, they wasn't uh, they wasn't shot and killed. That's Bobby Hearns right there on the telephone, the chief of the chief of police here in town, who shouldn't even be the chief. You know, if you got a dog catcher, you know if you should have uh, one standard on killing dogs if their dogs is right in front of a police substation unoccupied and they're chasing children from the bus stop which is right in front of there uh you think them dogs would have been shot but if you look at my youtube videos uh you would see seven of them showing that the dogs was right in front of that uh sub police station and they did nothing but put cages out the dog catcher, he admitted that they got several cages and only one cage worked. One cage worked. He said that uh, his other cages, when people, uh, dogs get caught, they uh, shoot the cage. Now, how many blacks you know that's going to shoot the cage when they dog get caught? Because if they did, you know where they'll be at, in the newspaper and locked up. I don't know what the complete situation here is, but we know that the dogs that was on Vine Street was just as dangerous as this dog was here. Now, we can't even get this type of protection on uh, on Vine Street, uh, right by the sub-police station. Here's this, uh, a thing about a dog, whether he was attacking somebody or not. We get my house was shot up August the 29th, 2015. And the chief of police wouldn't even get out of his vehicle. That's Mooney right there. Uh, you can't hardly see him, but he's the bald-headed one. You can't hardly see him. The other officers is uh, kind of like trying to uh, guide him off. Say what? They shot a dog over here, but they wouldn't shoot the ones over there on Vine Street chasing the children by the school, by the bus stop. But uh, just we just want to let you see that uh, they got double standards here in Charleston, Missouri. At least some people are on some side of the town is, is, is safe, you know, and uh, I know they don't like what I'm doing, but I got to continue to do what I'm doing until we get Bobby Hearns and Anthony Mooney and all the other ranking officers off the scene, off of the force and get somebody else down here. Remember, August the 29th, 2015, my house was shot up five times. The same chief. He's out of his vehicle now. He's out of his vehicle for a dog being shot, but he wouldn't get out the vehicle when my house got shot up. What did that tell you? That's him there in the green shirt. And, and Anthony Mooney, let me see if I can get him so you can see what he looks like. He don't want to be seen on the camera. That's him walking away. But I want y'all to televise this here. I want all of my people that's in Chicago and Texas, just take a look. Like I said, whatever the situation was, if they had to shoot the dog, okay. But what about when my house got shut up and he didn't get out the, he didn't get out the vehicle, but he out the vehicle on this. What about when all those dogs that was in front of uh, 702 Vine Street, the unoccupied police substation, and he wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't, they wouldn't shoot and kill them. Matter of fact, one of the dogs escaped from the police and they just let him go. I'm gonna leave it right here, but I want y'all to just see it's a certain different standard. We're closer up to the white neighborhood, that's why this is probably happening. Peace be still.